and welcome to another Theater Professor vidcast. My name is Terry Dana Jakimiak II, and I am the Theater Professor. And this week, we make our move into Paint Storm Studio. Before we get into that, I want to say hello and thank you to all my supporters out there who have subscribed to my YouTube channel or who are a member on the Theater Professor website. You guys are fabulous and you guys are the reason that I make these happen. It is through your support, whether you are a patron member or a Patreon supporter, that allows me to continue to do these videos. So thank you guys so much. Totally appreciate it. And let's jump right in. Okay, Paintstorm Studio is a fairly new program. I did a little research. Uh, the guy who, it's one guy created it, and he created it because he wanted an alternative to Photoshop, or I can't remember the exact specifics, but he wanted to create a painting program that did what he wanted it to do. And it's great, you know, people do that. They decide, hey, I'm going to do something for me. And he wrote this program, and it's actually a pretty good program. Best part about it for me is it's cheap. Uh, if you want to find the program, it's at www.paintstormstudio.com. Uh, I'm really hyper this morning, so I apologize. Uh, this is going to be several videos long. I'm not going to be able to cover the whole thing in one video, so make sure that you check it out. Uh, the price currently is, look at that. $19 for one PC, $29 for two PCs, fairly cheap. I don't get any kickback on this. I'm just pointing it out because if you're looking at it, it's great. Right now it is Windows only, which is kind of sad for me because at, at the college that I teach at, I'm a Mac guy. So I'm hoping that he comes out with the Mac OS uh, version soon. But for now, I get to play with it at home. So let's go ahead and click on it. It's this little icon down here. Click it, Paintstorm Studio, and this is what you see. And the first thing you're going to notice is, it's, it's for me, it's not pretty, okay? It's not a, a pretty UI, but it, there's a lot going on right here. Uh, this week, what we're going to look at is we're just going to look at the basic UI. I'm just going to give you a couple little looks of what it can do so that we know what's going on, and then we'll go into further, like, just wait till we start talking about all of this under the brush. I mean, you can do so much with this program. On the left hand side you've got your usual toolbar. All of your toolbars are movable so you can see I can move this around you know say I want it right there you can make it smaller, bigger, uh, There, you know it's 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 really nice what you're able to do with your toolbars. I'm gonna leave that puppy over oh made it disappear there we go I'm gonna leave that puppy over there. In our toolbar we've got things like move and we've got uh, lasso you know we've got uh, and you'll notice each time i pick something this bar up here changes that shows a different settings eraser uh, we've got a paint roller or fill you know all, all sorts of fun things what we're going to focus on right now is the brush because that's what we're going to use the most up here we have a navigator and I'm actually going to turn this off because I don't use it much. But essentially what it does is it allows you to move around if you're zoomed in. So if I, if I scale in, let me draw a line right there. I can adjust the angle of my paper here. I can actually adjust my zoomy in here. You know, things like that. I don't use that because I use keyboard shortcuts. So I'm going to close that down. Next up, we have our list of brushes, and they're in different categories based on, again, based on the creator's views. You've got, these are paint brushes, pencils, these are pen tools, you've got bigger paint brushes, you've got feathery mixer paint brushes, paint rollers, and then you've got things like darken and multiply and dodge, of course, eraser. Here you've got light sources. This is textured paint brushes. And then down here you have all sorts of wacky, wild Kool-Aid style type things that we will look on in look at in future future uh, videos. Next up down here we have our layers. We know how to use layers. If you use any program like ArtRage or Photoshop, you know what layers does. We'll go through all of the wonderful attributes of the layers here in the future. Next up we have this little box here, and this little box allows you to turn on and off the other boxes. Boop, 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 boop. Now, this is not the only way you can do it. You can, of course, go up into View, and you can turn off and on things here. So this is called the Panels Toggle. If I turn it off, it's gone. If I click it back, it's back. Hello, Panels Toggle. How I adore thee. 
Next up, we have all of our brush settings, and there are a ton of brush settings. And they are set in little categories. I'm going to close down all the categories here. But you can see one, two, three, four, five, five categories. You can have custom forms on your brushes. This is cool. Look at this. We'll, we'll, we'll be able to make our own custom brushes, and everybody likes that. Or you can just do circle. And, you know, there, there's a ton of other things in here. We will go through all that soon enough. Next up, we have this right here. Again, this little box here changes according to what you're using. So here I've got my magic wand. Here are some settings for my magic wand. Okay. Gaps effect is really nifty. We'll see it soon enough. Next up, we have over on our right hand side, we've got our color picker. We have a mixer, which is really nice. It's essentially a palette that you can mix paint. So I bring in, oh, let me grab my uh, stylus. There we go. I can bring in, I can mix together some paint, grab a different color, grab some white. Maybe I want to lighten up some of this right here and back and forth. And then you just use your color picker to pick the color that you've mixed. And now let me pick a bigger brush so that we can actually see what I'm uh, I'm going to grab this one here. So this is the color that I just picked. And then let's say we grab a green. And we're going to go through this a little more in depth later on. And now I really like this color. And now I've got this color in here as well. So it's a great little color picker. Uh, you can change how your or color mixer. You can change how you're mixing it, which brush you're using to mix it with. There, are, you know, and there are some menu things. And then down here you have swatches. So that's a custom quad gradient, light gradient, uh, a multi blend gradient. You can reset all those. I think there's there's got to be a way. And understand, I'm still fairly new new to this. Okay, so I'm still learning this. Uh, you know what I can and cannot do. But there's got to be a way to create new swatches, and we'll figure it out as we go out, go along, right? Let's see. Reset. That's just that's that does that. Yeah, there's got to be. There's got to be a way. We just gotta figure it out. Hopefully, you can hear right now the lawnmower. that's going on in the background. Uh, somebody apparently decided that today was a great day to mow their lawn. Yay, lawnmowers! There's a couple of other uh, that uh, other uh, palettes that aren't open. This one right here, this is interesting. You're looking at it going, what is that? This is your brush stroke, and you can create different brush strokes. And so, for example, if I go into the ink pen, and let's see, let me just grab, actually what I'm gonna do, because because you can create new ones. So I've just created, okay, good, a new one. And we do this and this, and maybe we do this and this. And then we could add, you know, maybe this. You can see it's changing all sorts of different strokes. So we will play with this as we go along. It's a, Again, it's a lot of fun. Uh, let's see what else we got up here. Oh, this is really cool with this. Okay. Well, this isn't, but so this is our reference. So if I open up a new file, so let me just open up, what do I got in my downloads? I'll just grab something, something quick and easy. Let's grab, let's go down, down, down. Here we go. I'm going to pick, oh, you silly rabbit. I'm gonna grab these eggs. So now what I can do is I can make the Easter eggs my reference. And we're gonna zoom out a little bit. And on my, so now I have the reference here and I can look at it, I can pull color from it. So now I've got one of the blues. Oh, let me go back to a brush, I don't want a pen. That's just silly. There we go. Pull different colors. Let's grab that red there. Okay. 
So that is the reference palette. I'm going to turn that off for now. And then we have these cool things. These are custom palettes. So let's say that as you're, you know, developing different paintings, you realize that you're using the same tools over and over. So what you can do is you can come over here and you can actually add these. I know there's a way to add. Just have to remember. Oh, there we go. You can add different, so let's, I need to turn it off to switch to a different one. So let's grab, I like my pe textured pencil. I'll bring that over. Put it right next to it. There we go. So then you've got, let me turn it off. I can switch between these two things. So that's my textured pencil and then switch to this, my paint, and back and forth. So it's a custom palette. You can create your own palette with your own tools. You can go through all the tools. You can create your own brushes and add them to it. You can, I mean, and you can create three different custom palettes. Let me turn that back off and turn that back off, okay? So those are custom palettes. This, oh, we our navigator, I turned that off earlier, so I'm gonna turn it back off. So these are all the palettes that are available. And then of course, up top, you've got, you know, your view, your selection. You can select things, obviously, your different layers, color balance and brightness of your image. You can adjust that right here. So let's make it a little brighter and a lot more contrasty. Play with your mid-tones. I'm gonna cancel it. You can adjust your hue and saturation. So let's go uber saturated, kind of bright. You can, so it's almost photo-y. There is a free transform, so you can adjust things freely. And of course, you've got your canvas resize, image resize, your edits. You can define your hotkeys so you don't have to use the hotkeys that they require you to use, and you can have three different hotkey setups, which is nice. And then finally, um, there are, there are some things that that are not great in my opinion. But again, it's a fairly new program, so who knows where this is going to go? But like your canvas resize, you know, you, you, you can't see how it's being resized. And your image resize, again, you can't see how it's being resized. If you do a new file. You have to input the specific pixels. You can't focus it on, you know, width and height. There are no presets here. So there are, there are some not so great things, but, you know, for, for $20, you know, for $20, there's a ton of awesome stuff in here. I've been using this, uh, here it is, draw blend opacity. And I've learned some of the, but I mean, look at this for, for, for creating blends. This is one brush I'm doing this. And let me grab a different color now. Let's say let's grab a light blue and we'll come into the red. I mean look at how nice the blend is there. Okay, so over the next couple of weeks we're going to look at this program. We're going to play with it. We're going to learn how to use it and we're going to do it together because this is Again, a very new program for me. I bought it uh, just about a month ago, but I haven't really had a chance to play with it uh, because of my, my full-time gig. So hopefully it'll be something that you guys like and enjoy. So I am back. I am back full-time. I am making videos for you guys. I am going to be uh, getting back into blog posts and etc. So, so I am back. The theater professor is back. And that is it for this week. If you haven't already, get the get the trial. There's a trial. Test it out. Let's play with it. Let's learn some things on. Oops. There. Oh, there it was. On Paintstorm Studio. If you go to the home, you can try it out. There it is. It's 15 days free. Give it a go. If you're on a Mac, I'm sorry he doesn't have it yet. I hope he does soon. But I am going to be doing some other videos that are you you know for those of you that are Mac users. Uh, I'm going to be playing with a couple other programs that I have as well. All right, that's it for this week. My name is Terry Dana Jakimiak II, and I am the theater professor.